hope you've enjoyed all the recipes we've brought you so far in our holiday edition of Cooking with Scott. And tonight on the show we have a few of your favourite recipes. We're making lamb stew, stir-fried spaghetti, butter chicken and smoked eel in apple tart. <music> Hi, Scott here again in the kitchen. Today I'm going to make a traditional navarin of lamb. Um, we're actually using diced lamb, but this is basically a lamb stew. Uh, it's actually started on the stove and then finished in the oven. Uh, you could use beef with it, you could also use mutton, um, and you know, make your decision there whichever way you want to go. So, basically I've got a, a heavy sided fry pan on here which I'm heating up. Uh, we're going to put some um, oil into that pan to get nice and hot. And then what I want to do is we want to start cooking our onions. So I've got uh, an onion diced here. I've got my quantity of um, diced lamb, and we're also going to add a wee bit of um, crushed garlic to that. We've then got our flavourings. We've got some tomato paste. Um, we need some flour to make sure we form our sauce. We've got some diced potato and some diced carrot, and I'm using some commercial um, beef stock. So my oil's nice and hot. So in goes that onion, and then goes our diced lamb. Well, what we want to do is we want to just sear that lamb off till it's lightly coloured and started to, to lightly brown. And then we're just going to add about a teaspoon of garlic. So we get that pan nice and hot. Keep it moving, keep the meat moving around so it's getting seared on all sides. Now while that's finishing off, um, we need a liquid to cover our, our stew or our navarin. So I'm putting a tablespoon of tomato paste into a jug and I'm going to estimate how much beef stock I'm going to need to cover the meat and the vegetables I'm going to put into the, the dish. We can always add more, and I'll do that for the time being. And we just want to mix that tomato paste with the stock. Right, our meat's starting to colour. So we can now sprinkle across the top two tablespoons of flour and stir that in. And that's going to soak up all the juices and that oil. So now we're going to transfer it to our casserole tray or pan. Spread that around in there. Now to that I'm adding um, a diced carrot and two or three small potatoes which I've cut into dice. And we want to mix those just around with the, the meat. Grind of pepper at this stage. I wouldn't add any salt at this stage because the stock has salt in it. We can do a taste test later on to see how that is. So then over the top goes our beef stock and tomato paste mixture. And we want to have it just covering the meat. And this stock is going to reduce down, um, combine with the flour and form our sauce. We then need a piece of tin foil. You want to cover the tray and it will go into an oven set around about 170, 175 and that might take up to uh, an hour to slowly um, cook in the oven. So 
be careful when you take that tin full up so you haven't created any steam. You need to give it a, a stir. So we've got those nice vegetables in there. The sauce has become nice and thick. Get our service bowl. And what I had is some um, mashed potato that I cooked earlier on. I'm just warming up in the microwave. And we're going to put a nice generous dollop of that in our bowl. And then just spoon over our nice navarin of lamb. So a real hearty dish. And then some nice parsley on top. So of course serve that additionally with some vegetables, so some nice roast vegetables would be nice, say some kuma and some carrot and parsnip, and then you've got a nice uh, meal. So I hope you enjoy that one, and I'll see you next time.